If the shadow of a nuclear war were to fall upon our world, survival would not simply belong to the strongest or even the best prepared. It would belong to those who understood the truth. For in times of crisis, it is not bombs alone that kill, but the myths we believe about them. Throughout the Cold War, governments issued pamphlets, schools ran drills, and families built basements into shelters. Yet even then, much of what people were taught was incomplete, misleading, or outright dangerous. Today, many of those same misconceptions linger, spreading online, whispered in prepper circles, and even repeated by so-called experts. But myths are like cracks in armor. They look small, harmless, almost invisible, until the very moment they fail. And in a nuclear conflict, when seconds decide fates, believing the wrong thing could cost you everything. To understand these myths, one must first grasp the nature of nuclear fallout itself. Fallout is not the flash of light, nor the fireball, nor the blast wave that shatters glass and concrete in an instant. Fallout is what comes after, the silent drifting ash of pulverized earth irradiated and lifted into the sky, only to descend hours or days later. It coats rooftops, seeps into water, clings to clothing and lingers on the soil. Unlike the fireball that consumes in an instant, fallout stalks the survivor. It poisons not by flame, but by time. And it is precisely because fallout is invisible to the naked eye that myths take root. People imagine it as glowing dust, or confuse it with smoke, or think it is something one can see, smell, or simply brush away. They imagine that if the sky clears, the danger is gone. But the truth is more complex and more deadly. In this series, we shall confront the most common and perilous myths surrounding nuclear fallout. Each one, if believed, could lead you down a path of false security and ultimately to death. Yet each myth, once unmasked, can instead become a lesson. For knowledge is not only power, in the shadow of nuclear war, it is survival itself. So let us begin with the first myth, the dangerous belief that nuclear fallout is instantly lethal everywhere, to everyone, with no chance of survival. This myth has paralyzed generations with fear, but the truth is more complicated and far more hopeful than you might think. Would you like me to continue with part two?